it's hard work working with people like Anya and Mimi because they are just constantly trying to fuck me up. I love to laugh and say, and I love to have fun. And the good thing is that that Henry also liked that, and he's very good at it. I don't know if he's a stand-up comedian or what the hell. You know, it's like yeah, he's a very funny guy. Henry will turn around and say some shit, and you're just like, we're just about to do this thing. Why are you gonna Why are you gonna throw us off like that? And he would just come out with these one-liners. He's like the king of like these dry one-liners, and they just have you in tears of laughter. At your final breath, a shitless death. But I doubt it. Eamon gets up to some shenanigans. So if I'm with Eamon, who plays Kahir, we'll probably laugh the whole way through because he is just the ultimate joker and he's a tease as well. And I'm very gullible, so that's <laughs> that's a really funny combination. Oh, we've all, we've all got an inner joker. <laughs> I'd say Eamon is the joker. He loves it. He loves making people laugh. Shall you agree? <laughs> He's hilarious. He's just on fire all the time on set. He's just so funny. Anya and Mimi are just ridiculous and they always try to distract me on set, but I am a constant professional. <laughs> I'm the serious one. We were walking, I don't know, I don't know what we were doing there, to be honest. We were walking and there was these like boulders everywhere you went, so you couldn't walk. And uh, and the director at the time, Sarah, and she was like, what's wrong with you guys? Can you not just walk? And we were like struggling because our ankles were just getting destroyed. Afraid to break a nail, princess. I'm from the north of England originally. And being back in the north of England, uh, Yaskia was for the first few takes really Geordie and I had turned to Henry and I was like do I sound a bit Geordie and he was like yeah you sound weird man you need a nap a lot of our views and perspectives have all been green screen so me and Eamon will show each other little video clips of what we're imagining so it'll be like oh I'm imagining Kanye West singing happy birthday to Dave Chappelle Yas is pretty bad um, because he would always come up with different nicknames <laughs> He started calling me Lamb Chop. <laughs> Good old Lamb Chop. They just kept it in because they, they liked it. It's just a bit of fun. Henry and I have a small game where usually if one of us leaves a take and we're still in the scene, we try and call faces at each other to try and make each other laugh. He's got a really good number of just leaving a take, like looking really serious, like Geralt. And then just as he leaves the frame, he'll just go, me and Paul are on set. There's always something going on. Always, there's always some sort of trick or prank that everyone's playing, especially with Freya as well, because she's so competitive. Maybe might even let you win. Yeah, you wish. There was one scene that we were filming recently, and I think it's when uh, Kahir enters Sintra. At the end, there's there's like this face-off between the three of us, and like the cameras just kept on rolling, and it felt like an eternity. We were all in character, just staring at each other, but Eamon was on the other side of the camera, so he's just staring at us, and then he's like... But that, and he's just doing loads of funny things. He's just, he's just brilliant. I, look, it's hard work working with people like Anya and Mimi because they are just constantly trying to fuck me up. Sorry, excuse my language. But, uh, you know, Anya's constantly yelling at me, trying to get her tea for her. It's he mages are merciful. Mimi's like, you know, making faces off camera so I don't you know, get my close up right. Like, it's a nightmare, dude. Like, it's a nightmare. I do find it really funny, though, because obviously we're actually fighting these monsters. They're, you know, big puppets uh, or, um, you know, stuntmen in, in blue suits. <laughs> it's just, so sometimes you find yourself laughing a little bit. So the first time we sort of come in, it was like these two guys, like, in these blue rubber suits. And me and Paul, <laughs> I looked at Paul and I was like, who let the condoms out, man? Like, <laughs> it's so funny, big foam heads with like stuntmen in, in blue spandex. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Aqueducts because it was 
testing conditions because we had to be in the water, visualise this monster, but we had so much fun. Ah! That was one of my favourite scenes to film, for sure. Training Siri in uh, episode three, Freya, you know, kind of challenging Lambert and, uh, and testing his authority. What did you do then? And then, and then taking control of the situation. Kahira and Yennefer are sort of in the middle of this square and they arrive sort of above ground and they sort of have it out together and they share. I think, I mean, you know, Kahira and Yennefer are pretty closed off or, or uh, people, I think they're pretty protected people. And so for the first time, I think because they're strangers, they kind of are the most emotionally available that they've ever been with anyone. Everyone answers to someone eventually. Even you, I suspect. Fingella, she finally gets to have a bit, just a little bit, of the bench. And we've also got this character called Hake. He's a general, and he is winding her up galore. Like, everything that she does, he's nitpicky on it. He's He, he keeps throwing her under the bus in front of Kahir. And you call yourself a leader. She just had enough. So she gets to come in and basically kill all the generals. Whenever I listen like this, what is yours, you do not see. Take it. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's such a fierce moment. My first scene, I think, that I shot was me and the big man found about by a lake. It was the first time we'd seen HC for, um, for, for a year over the, over the pandemic, so it felt really like coming home and, and it was so easy to slip back in. Each of your faces is cause enough for celebration. You're safe, you made it back, you made it home.